good morning what is going wait no <laughs> good afternoon what is going on afternoon for you it is morning for me right now it's about 8 a.m. I woke up at 5 to go fishing and it was completely stormy out and right now I just dropped the boat in walking down to the boat ramp let me show you something the boat ramp is completely flooded like that's the walkway I'm just walking on like the uh, random barrier here so I can have to walk but completely flooded and I wish I had my camera on time earlier there's literally mullets swimming across the tops of the docks and you can see how far the ramps underneath we've just been having absolutely awful weather in South Florida for the past like month now where we've had maybe like a week or so where it was okay but other than that it's just been raining and blowing like piss honestly I woke up way early this morning tried to get out and it was completely storming and thundering and raining and I couldn't go out I finally storm passed a little bit and I have a break in between sets so we're out in the water I'm gonna bust into an MTB box and see if we can catch some fish all right today we're gonna be using MTB box to catch some fish you already know what it is but if you don't I'll let you know what MTB is MTB is a subscription service where you pay a monthly fee and they send you a box full of lures to fish with and it helps you find new lures to use, new ways to target fish. It's just good stuff and they support me, so I support them. So we're going to bust into the box. If you're interested in getting one, there'll be a code below. I'll talk about more at the end, but we're going to bust into the box, start fishing. They're going to try to use some lures out of here today to catch some fish. This is going to be perfect at the moment. It's a red and white top water. Red and white is my favorite color for inshore top waters right there. Little top water. We have overcast conditions. This is gonna be money. We're gonna start with this. Ooh. I think there's a nice sized fish. Put some weight down here. Something big definitely came off this wall. Oh my god, come on, come on, come on. Big ol' snook behind it. Oh. oh, yeah, buddy! Are you kidding me right now? Oh, gee. Oh my god. I don't know where the fish is right now. Oh my god. <laughs> that boat side eat. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm using really light test, and this is a good sized fish right here. Good lord almighty. Trying to get up against the wall. I gotta play him real light. 15 pound braid, 30 pound test. God, that eat was unreal. <laughs> Ooh, we gotta turn with him. Oh my god, he just popped off. What the hell, dude? Look at that. He wrapped the line around the back hook. Damn it. That's just so unlucky. He literally just, the treble hook, the back treble hook wrapped around the leader like that. I'm seriously like my hands are shaking right now. Oh, nice. That's Jack for sure, but. <laughs> All right, let's see if this one pulls off too. Not nearly as high as stakes as that freaking snook, but he's ripping up in these bushes. Uh, he's not a very big fish, but I'm happy with him. <sighs> Little creval right there, first fish landing. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. I think that was a jack. <laughs> that was an awesome eat, though. Definitely a jack. <laughs> the head shakes are a little too distinct for it to be anything else. Basically, jack and bonita are, like, the only fish that shake their heads like this. I guess tuna, too, but jack number two right there on the top water. There's some fish going off over here. I don't know if I'll reach them or not. A huge school family getting blasted by what I assume is a school jack. Pelican's trying to get in on it now. I might be a little late here, but we'll try it. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. That was a little too easy. <laughs> Ali is a very big one. It looks like there's some decent sized ones in there, but this is just a little one. I would love to just get this off and keep growing. Little Creval number three right there. All right, finally took the top water off. Right here I have an H&H &H pintail minnow. You can see it doesn't have a traditional paddle tail or a fluke style tail, it's just a straight tail. And so we can use a few ways. We can swim it slowly or we can twitch it kind of like a fluke. But what I'm probably going to do is bounce it off the bottom real slow, let it hit the bottom like that, and then bounce it up, hit the bottom, bounce it up. Look at the fish. <laughs> just a tiny jack. I just want to knock this minnow off the board, though, and catch something on it. Smooth release. All right, lure number three. This is Z-Man Pogi, gold rush color, just on a red jig head that we're just gonna slowly bounce around on the bottom of the bridge. We're gonna throw it right along the piling, let that jig head drag it all the way to the bottom and just slowly reel it right back. And just wait for that thump. Maybe get a little bounce every once in a while. Or the fish, tiny. So many of these little micro jacks around right now. Gosh, that looks so good in there. How's that not gonna get just slammed by a snook? Something's eating up on the wall right here. Snook right here. I need to get on this real quick. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, right. There it is. <laughs> That's a jack, though. Not a snook. Okay, well, it sounded like the snook's back at it, but I found the jack. There's definitely a snook up in there, like a nice size one. I got a freaking jack of all hooks for that 400th time today. Ah, listen to it. Come here, get off my freaking hook. Ugh. Stop fighting. We're gonna do a quick switch. Oh. Okay. He's gone. I doubt that fish is still hanging though. Or at least he's probably still around. I'm sure he's gonna mull it in his mouth at this point, but we'll see. Oh yeah, these are great conditions. Oh god. <laughs> Jack. Oh. I don't want to turn around. <laughs> okay, good. All right, as much fun as I'm having out here being poured on and blown around, that's not even really being sarcastic. I am actually just having a ton of fun. I think it's time to go in before things get worse. All right, needless to say, it is raining pretty damn hard now. I am freaking drenched, but it was a ton of fun out there. It was a ton of fun out there, but we're gonna head home and go close out the video back at home here back at the house you know what a freaking weird day hooking that big giant snook the first bite i really had the whole entire day i'm working that wall and i see big old headway come off the wall and start zeroing in on my top water moving and he gets right next to the boat and just hammers it i mean hearing a snook eat next to the boat is one of the greatest things ever i always joke around with my friends and say it sounds like someone shoots a 20 gauge in the water when you hook a bigger snook because that clamp down noise they make of their gill plates smashing down and the jaw smashing down at the same time makes it such a distinguishable pop noise that is just so epic just unlucky on my part i'm a very unlucky person it seems and luck of the draw right there and that fish popping off but that's the way life goes and then i could have caught as many jack crawl today probably as i wanted to and i was getting sick of them it's a funny thing with jack i it's like 
bass fishing and you're catching bowfin. Bowfin, they fight really freaking hard. And they're not that bad to catch. Like, they're fun to catch. But after a while, you're like, damn it, dude. I just want to catch a bass. <laughs> and that's how I felt today was like, I was catching jack after jack. I was like, I just want to catch a snook. And I got taste for blood, hooked that nice big snook, and he came off. And then it was just all day jacks. But that's fishing. That's the way it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out Mystery Tackle Box. They're cool. They support me. I support them. I'll leave a link below. You can get some money off on your first box of using a code. I'll put it down below in the description. But I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already. I'm done for a day. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. Till next time.